Hi everyone, today I have a word for some of the leaders in the body of Christ. And before I share this word, I will be reading some passages of scripture. First, I will be reading Ephesians 4 verses 11 through to 16. And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ, that we henceforth be no more children, tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine, by the slight of men and cunning craftiness, whereby they lie in wait to deceive. But speaking the truth in love may grow up into him in all things, which is the head, even Christ, from whom the whole body fitly joined together and compacted by that which every joint supplieth, according to the effectual working in the measure of every part, maketh increase of the body, unto the edifying of itself in love. Now I want to highlight verses 11 and 12. And he gave some apostles, and some prophets, and some evangelists, and some pastors and teachers, for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. And so here we see in these verses that God is the one who instituted these offices. And he gave some apostles, some prophets, and some evangelists, and some pastors and teachers. And so God is the one who instituted these offices, and he has placed leaders in these offices to lead his people. Now I will be reading from Jeremiah chapter 23, verses 1 to 20. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, saith the Lord. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God of Israel against the pastors that feed my people. Ye have scattered my flock, and driven them away, and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doings, saith the Lord. And I will gather the remnants of my flock out of all countries whither I have driven them, and will bring them again to their folds, and they shall be fruitful and increase. And I will set up shepherds over them which shall feed them, and they shall fear no more, nor be dismayed, neither shall they be lacking, saith the Lord. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will raise unto David a righteous branch, and a king shall reign and prosper, and shall execute judgment and justice in the earth. In his days Judah shall be saved, and Israel shall dwell safely. And this is his name, whereby he shall be called, the Lord our righteousness. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that they shall no more say, The Lord liveth, which brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. But the Lord liveth, which brought up and which led the seed of the house of Israel out of the north country, and from all countries whither I had driven them, and they shall dwell in their own land. Mine heart within me is broken because of the prophets. All my bones shake. I am like a drunken man, and like a man whom wine hath overcome, because of the Lord and because of the words of his holiness. For the land is full of adulterers, for because of swearing the land mourneth. The pleasant places of the wilderness are dried up, and their course is evil, and their force is not right. For both prophet and priest are profane. Yea, in my house have I found their wickedness, saith the Lord. Wherefore their, wherefore their, their way shall be unto them as slippery ways in the darkness. They shall be driven on, and fall therein, 
for I will bring evil upon them, even the year of their visitation, saith the Lord. And I have seen folly in the prophets of Samaria. They prophesied in Baal, and caused my people Israel to err. I have seen also in the prophets of Jerusalem an horrible thing. They commit adultery, and walk in lies. They strengthen also the hands of evildoers, that none doth return from his wickedness. They are all of them unto me as Sodom, and the inhabitants thereof as Gomorrah. Therefore thus saith the Lord of hosts concerning the prophets, Behold, I will feed them with wormwood, and make them drink the water of gall. For from the prophets of Jerusalem is profaneness gone forth into all the land. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Hearken not unto the words of the prophets that prophesy unto you. They make you vain. They speak a vision of their own heart, and not out of the mouth of the Lord. They say still unto them that despise me, The Lord hath said, Ye shall have peace. And they say unto every one that walketh after the imagination of his own heart, No evil shall come upon you. For who hath stood in the counsel of the Lord, and hath perceived and heard his word? Who hath marked his word, and heard it? Behold, a whirlwind of the Lord is gone forth in fury, even a grievous whirlwind. It shall fall grievously upon the head of the wicked. The anger of the Lord shall not return until he have executed, until he have performed the thoughts of his heart. In the latter days ye shall consider it perfectly. Now today I have a word from the Lord for some of the leaders in the body of Christ. Not all, but some. Now to the leaders who this word is for. God placed you in a position of leadership to lead his people, but you have turned away from walking in righteousness and holiness. You have turned away from walking in righteousness and holiness, and you have compromised. You have compromised in order to be friends with the world. You have compromised in order to be friends with the world. You are no longer walking in righteousness and holiness, but you have compromised in order to be on good terms with people of the world. And by people of the world, I am referring to persons who do not follow Jesus Christ, who do not follow his commands and his precepts. And so you have compromised. You are no longer walking in the ways of God, but you have compromised in order to be friends with the world and to be on good terms with the people of the world. The word of God tells us that friendship with the world is enmity with God. James chapter 4 verse 4. Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God? Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. And so you have compromised. You have compromised in order to be on good terms with people of the world and you have become friends of the world you are no longer walking in the ways of God you are no longer walking in righteousness and holiness you are also now walking in idolatry your status and your position of leadership has become your idol your status and your position of leadership has become your idol your focus is no longer on walking in righteousness, on walking in holiness, and on leading God's people in his truth. Your focus is now on maintaining your status and on maintaining your position of leadership so that persons will continue to look up to you. Money has also become your focus. Money has also become your focus. Your focus, once again, is no longer on walking in righteousness, on walking in holiness, and on leading God's people in his truth. But money has become your focus, and your focus is on getting and keeping money. You want to ensure that, that you continue. You want to ensure that you continue to get and to keep money. And so money has also become your focus. And so, 
the word of the Lord to you today. To the leaders in the body of Christ who this word is for. The word of the Lord to you today is repent. Repent. Turn away from your error. Turn away from your disobedience and return to walking in righteousness and holiness. Return to walking in righteousness and holiness and to leading God's people in his truth. Return to walking in righteousness and holiness and to leading God's people in his truth. And if you do not repent, then you will experience the judgment of God. This is the word of the Lord. Amen.